don't be vegan. The fork and knife you use on the animal flesh will be used on you in hell. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Frontline essential workers now include grocery cashiers and other supermarket employees, bus drivers, farm workers, child care providers, and many others. Their dedication and courage have enabled nations to continue functioning during this unusual time. Please continue watching to find out more. Merciful viewers, I am Tapiba, the people of the Republic of Malawi, also known as the Warm Heart of Africa, would like to say Muli Bwanji to visitors, meaning how are you in Chichua, a commonly spoken language in the nation. The friendly people of Malawi wish for God's blessings to surround you each day. Welcome to our show entitled Unsung Heroes Frontline Workers. Since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, we have become aware of the importance of frontline workers. In the past, they have been defined as police officers, firefighters, doctors, nurses, midwives, and other healthcare workers. But COVID-19 is so contagious, the definition has expanded to include many types of essential workers who are at high risk because they deal with the public and do work that is needed to ensure that people have necessities like food, water, and transportation. Frontline essential workers now include grocery cashiers and other supermarket employees, bus drivers, farm workers, childcare providers, and many others. Their dedication and courage have enabled nations to continue functioning during this unusual time. We can all be grateful that we have had food, power, healthcare, and transportation during times of lockdown, quarantine, and shelter in place. And we can thank frontline essential workers for all of those things. A large percentage of frontline workers are immigrants and migrants. For example, in Europe, many migrants serve in areas such as public transport, food production and sales, home care, and healthcare. In the United States, many of the farm workers are migrant laborers from Mexico. Without them, fruits and vegetables would not be harvested and the produce would rot in the fields. These men and women endure extreme weather and difficult journeys to get the work done. Just one county in the USA supplies nearly 90% of the romaine and iceberg lettuce for the US and Canada. Without migrant laborers to harvest the lettuce, it ends up left in the fields. The long wait to cross the border for those who go from Mexico to the United States daily to work has been challenging. There are major delays at the border due to social distancing requirements and additional procedures before being allowed entry into the US. Some reportedly have had to arrive at the border at midnight just to get to work on time. It's hard for a lot of workers who come across the line every day. It's, it, it takes a toll on you. Waiting for four to six hours just to get to work is a very daunting task. Essential farm workers across the world are making sure that there is a safe and abundant food supply for all. Doctors, nurses, midwives, dentists and other healthcare providers are also frontline workers. 
and they are often immigrants or refugees. In Europe, a shortage of medical staff has led many nations to turn to immigrants from the Middle East and Africa to fill healthcare jobs. Migrants and refugees from all over the world are working with their European colleagues to care for patients with COVID-19. In France, a group of doctors from the United Arab Emirates on a scholarship program decided to decline a flight back home to continue to work side by side with their French colleagues during the COVID-19 crisis. Dr. Mohamed Al-Falasi, an Emirati neurosurgeon, stated, I decided to stay in France simply to honor my job as a doctor. I have made my decision quickly. I would stay in France in order to help my colleagues during this troubling period. Bravo, Dr. Alvalasi. France is recognizing the bravery of these doctors, as well as other immigrant frontline workers. In honor of their dedication and support of the nation and the people during the COVID-19 pandemic, France is offering accelerated citizenship to these individuals. More than 8,000 immigrants have applied and 2,000 have already received citizenship under the new initiative. Those who are eligible include medical professionals, cleaners, janitors, checkout staff and child care workers. We will now pause for a constructive message and then be right back. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Vegan, destroyer of violence. Welcome back to Unsung Heroes, Frontline Workers on Supreme Master Television. Supreme Master Ching Hai has worked tirelessly on behalf of refugees. She spoke about the contributions of immigrants and refugees in a conference with Supreme Master TV team members in January 2019. Uh, according to research, we know on our... Supreme Master Television. Right. The motivated migrants are contributing a lot for any country because they're motivated to work. Yes. They do anything. They really work hard to earn money to take care of themselves and their families. They're motivated. They're not born... Uh, spoiled. They really motivated. They really desperate to work. So they really work hard, conscientiously, and they really want to to do something to earn the living. Yes, master. So this will be very good workforce for any country. Any smart country would take in migrants and give them uh, citizenship and all that, so their children can also have a good education and then contribute to the country. It's the same like every citizen. Yes, you master. You know, like native citizens. And then after a while, they marry the native, etc., and then become half native, and then full native, well, who cares? The whole world is a global village anyway. The whole yes. world is a home. There are different rooms, the German rooms, the England rooms, the Japanese rooms, who cares what room? It all belongs to humanity. So if they change rooms and to make it better for that room, then it should be a very, very fortunate thing. Yes. Without a doubt, immigrants and children of immigrants make an enormous positive impact on their adopted nations. In the case of COVID-19, the coronavirus vaccine breakthrough came from two married German scientists, one an immigrant from Turkey and the other a child of Turkish immigrants. The husband and wife team, Dr. Uga Sahin and Dr. Oslem Terushi, own a company that is focused on using mRNA to create cancer-fighting drugs. When the two scientists heard about the new disease that had emerged in Wuhan, China, they turned their research efforts to finding a vaccine. Their work began two months before the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic. Their extraordinary research provided the world with the vaccine needed to control the epidemic. Many have called the couple medical superheroes, a name that the humble Dr. Sahin declines. 
He said, yes, we are scientists. And superhero just means the science that we did is important. But we were not alone in developing this science. So I think the whole scientific community is a superhero. The work of this amazing couple has saved countless lives. The German people are proud that the contribution of a COVID vaccine has come from their nation. May Dr. Sain and Dr. Tureshi find ever more success in their research. The contributions of immigrants and refugees doesn't only come in the medical and research communities, but also in the work of those dealing with the public. While many people stayed home to minimize the spread of COVID, grocery clerks, cleaners, janitors, bus drivers, and others found that their jobs were so essential that they had to continue working. Each of these workers had to find their own reserve of courage and bravery to show up each day and serve the needs of the people. They all deserve our deepest appreciation and respect. Frontline workers are not always professionals. Juan Shining's story has been of a Malian immigrant to France named Mama Dugasama, who the French call the Spider-Man. When he saw a four-year-old child hanging off a fourth-floor balcony in northern Paris, he immediately began climbing the building to save the child. His extraordinary feat was greeted by cheers from the crowd below and with relief and gratitude by the family of the child whose life he saved. Mr. Gassama was hailed as a hero and met with the French president, His Excellency Emmanuel Macron, who gave him French citizenship. All of these immigrants and refugees have made tremendous contributions to their adopted countries. May we all be thankful for the beautiful world we live in and the colorful, accomplished people who improve our lives every day. Thank you, delightful viewers, for joining us today. May you always spread peace in the world around you. Let not a man make himself abominable with any living creature or creeping thing by eating of them. The Dead Sea Scrolls are scenes. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash gpgw. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique gpgw. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com barra inclinada gpgw. Nasi te predavanie predlagat mnogo ezici. Molje vište suprememastertv.com na klonene črta schedule et suprememastertv.com na klonene črta gpgw.